Swoosh. Uh, who's there? It's me, your past self. Wow, my past self is a lot deeper voice than I remember. That's not the point. Why haven't you told that one story? What story? Don't act like you don't know. No, not that story. You must. No. No. No! Okay, so the reason I've never told this story before is because of how extremely embarrassing it is. Every once in a while, my friends would bring it up, and I would just stand there, regretting my decisions. So if you guys didn't know, I do volleyball. The sport where you bump a ball and, and, and stuff. Anyway, volleyball was fun. It was my class of boys and the class of boys above us. It was actually a good way to learn about teamwork. Like, you can't take on a whole team by yourself. You have to pass the ball to someone on your team. I actually had a lot of fun doing it. I was surprisingly really involved in the sport. So yeah, I did volleyball for about two months through August to October. I would have to go to practice usually after school, which took about two hours. If you've been subscribed for that long, you might have realized I didn't upload a lot during that time. Now, I don't have a lot of wacky stories from volleyball, but there is this one story. One story that if I wrote it down, I would rip it out of that princess diary and throw it in the fire and laugh maniacally as I see the flames. Yeah, it's that bad. It all started about a year ago. My team had been doing games for about a month at the time, and this one was just like any other. But I changed that. And by the way, our team was actually not that good. Now at times we'd be really close to winning, but then we wouldn't. We tried. Anyway, so it was the second quarter of the game, and I was sitting out with my teammate. As we were sitting, the referee kept making really dumb calls. Like, Hey! Number 15! Yeah, you! You're in the wrong spot! Move right there! Okay, that's better. Alright, so maybe that's a little bit dramatic. Okay, a lot dramatic. Point is, he was making some pretty ridiculous calls. I was sitting out watching all these calls happen, and I had an idea. A real dumb one. I leaned into my teammate and said, <laughs> Bro, when we go to do the good game handshakes, we should dab on the ref. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, in my defense, Actually, I have nothing to defend myself. This was just plain stupid. So the game was over. Oh yeah, we, we totally won, by the way. Yeah, we're, we're that good. So we all get in line to say good game. <laughs> this is it. The big moment. Bro, are you sure about this? This seems pretty stupid. Dude, of course you're sure about this. This is an amazing idea. And no, it isn't. It's stupid, and you'll most likely get in trouble. Bro, you never take risks. Remember that one time he ran down the hill when he was five? Yeah, I remember. He fell and got a huge scar. Yeah, but it was awesome. You're an idiot. Wait, who is that? Dude, that's the coach. Just do it, man. All right, all right, fine. Oh gosh, what did I just do? I met up with the team soon after. Yo guys, where's the coach? Oh, he's talking to the other team's coach. Oh no. Wait, what did you do? We stood there watching the two coaches talk for a while, and both coaches walked over. Basically, my coach made us all give the coach a real handshake, even though it was just me and my teammate that did it. So yeah, that was awkward on my part. Why in the world did you two do that? So I obviously had to give a serious response. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I was eating a Milky Way. I didn't really say that. I kind of like awkwardly shrugged and almost got kicked off the volleyball team, but luckily I didn't. And that'd be bad. So yeah, please don't do what I did. Honestly, it was really stupid and it's probably one of my biggest regrets. And every time one of my friends brings it up, I want to slam my head on a table. And now I made a video about it. Wonderful. Oh buddy boy, another life story video. Hey everyone, sorry I've been on a small hiatus recently. I took a short break in August and since volleyball season started up this September, I've practically had zero time to work on videos. But luckily by the end of this month, volleyball season will be over. So that will give me more time to work on videos. So that's good. Once again, don't do what I did last year. It was pretty immature on my part and I still get reminded of what happened when I see that coach. Anyway fam squad, I just want to say thanks to Temple Tanger for doing some lines. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, boost me on Facebook, it's and... Thank you, I love you.